We're at the uh, Canadian HIV AIDS Legal Network Action Awards and I'm with keynote speaker Sven Robinson. Um, and Sven actually has a brand new book out about your, about your life, your life in politics. Yeah, my life so far. I mean, I remind people it ain't over yet. There's still, <laughs> still a few chapters to be written. But yes, uh, Graham Trulove um, wrote a, a biography. Um, I uh, cooperated with him, gave him all my papers. He plowed through them, interviewed a lot of people. and. Uh, put together, I think, a really a terrific uh, book. So maybe you want to talk to me a little bit about what it was like to be gay in politics, especially in those early years when you were dealing with so much discrimination and stigma from all sides. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was, it was tough, it was challenging, um, and yet at the same time it was incredibly liberating. Um, my friends sort of joked that Sven Robinson coming out as a gay man was a bit like Jesse Jackson coming out as a black man. I, I think that was a bit of an exaggeration, but uh, uh, it was, I mean, it was personally liberating to be able to speak openly and proudly as a, as a gay man, particularly in the middle of the, 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 the pandemic of, of AIDS. I mean, it was numbing, it was devastating. The homophobia was incredible. Um, and that was a big reason for me coming out. But um, yeah, it was, it was not always easy. I got, I got incredible volumes of hate mail. Um, death threats. Um, the day after the Toronto Star ran a front page story saying I was going to be coming out, I flew back to, to Burnaby, my constituency in British Columbia, and my office was destroyed. The windows, doors were shattered, death threats painted on the walls. Um, I got homophobic taunts from um, lots of colleagues in the house. Uh, I was attacked uh, by Premier Devine as being worse than a, a bank robber, and Premier Van Der Zam of British Columbia, who said I was a bad role model for children. Um, the Prime Minister, um, in the election six months later, made jokes, uh, imagine Sven Robinson as Minister of National Defense. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was challenging, but boy, um, I, I, uh, I wouldn't have done otherwise. It was an amazing opportunity to hopefully give a bit of strength and courage to other folks that um, were, um, were looking for some, some leadership as well. It's pretty epic, your journey. Um, tell me a bit about your reaction to seeing it in print and what, what it was like to, you know, I guess, purge all those memories and go through all those stories. Was it, was it uh, cathartic? At times it was cathartic. At times it was painful. At times uh, it, was, uh, it just reminded me of some of the battles that had been fought and so on. And, and I have to say also um, a couple of things. I mean, one, it reminded me of the incredible progress that we've made. I mean, when I came out in, in 88, um, 25 years ago this year, uh, there were no human rights protections anywhere. You could be fired from your job, thrown out of your home. It was in the absolute middle of the pandemic, of the plague, of HIV AIDS, uh, which, was which was numbing. Um, and so today when I look particularly at young people, uh, and you know, they're, they're out, they're proud in high school, um, gay straight alliances, um, uh, it, it, for me that gives me a lot of hope. But at the same time, um, I'm reminded that um, while we've made huge progress here, uh, as we see, we'll hear tonight about um, uh, one of the award winners um, from um, Cameroon, um, our sisters and brothers um, in many parts of the world are still facing huge, huge challenges. Uh, thank you so much, Fan. I really appreciate your time tonight, and I look forward to hearing your speech. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here.